townhouse number six, Loftus. Less efflorescence on the rear garage wall than townhouse number five. They put fresh tiles on the floor and the laundry for townhouse six, so there's no efflorescence popping up through the floor on this particular unit. If we pop around to the rear yard area, The rear yard area is a depression. It's, it's, it's lower than the internal floor area. The water pools around this area during heavy rain and seeps below the pavers. There's nowhere for the water to drain. There's some low sections around these structural posts for the awning roof here. And during periods of heavy rainfall, the water pools here. There's nowhere to drain to. It seeps into the ground, transmitting underneath the concrete slab of the townhouse. And eventually it results in the efflorescence in the garage. There's less efflorescence on this unit, so the water is dissipating. These large trees outside acting as water pumps and removing a lot of water from the soil. but. This area is prone to flooding because there's no drain in this area that I can see connected to the storm water. The closest downpipe is on this corner. And if this drain is lower than the rear yard area, it may be possible to install a drain to that low section of the paved area and connect to the storm water.